Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have a lot to speak because Bitcoin has a new big CME future gap and also we have a big warning sign in the weekly time frame. So before we start with the content my friends, first a little shout out to all of you. Thank you very much for your support. Yesterday we had a record video. We had over 1700 views and over 100 new subscribers. So thank you very much for the support and also stick in here in this channel till the end because you will be doing very fine. We are all together in the same boat and Bitcoin will do very great things in the future. So that's why make sure to join our great crypto family here on YouTube and of course also over on Discord. Join my Discord trading chat right now. The link is down below here. This is also where you can get my own indicator, which you can see here in my videos, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. All right, my friends. Let's start firstly here in the one hour time frame. So here in the lower time frames, because as you can see right now, Bitcoin had here this channel when we bounced here from support and resistance and we were waiting here for a possible breakout to the upside here. So above $19,900 to reach new levels, potentially towards $21,000. So far it didn't happen. We are actually right now breaking out to the downside and it looks like that here in the one hour we are also confirming here this new resistance of around $19,100. And uh, why I think it is very likely that we're not just coming down here to test the $18,900 but potentially also go lower is because we have a new CME gap down to $18,110. These CME gaps doesn't feel always and they also don't need to feel but very often they get filled immediately as soon as the CMEs are starting again and uh, otherwise after a couple of hours or days they eventually get filled completely and that's why i think it is very likely that we will come down to those levels again potentially even lower because we also still have this one over here at seventeen thousand dollar open and even if we would retrace back in this falling wedge here on the cme chart and bounce again between support and resistance here so between seventeen thousand three hundred and eighteen thousand six hundred we could even come down here towards 17,000 and then have the breakout, the clear breakout to the upside to potentially go towards 20K and higher. Unless of course we're going below $17,000. So if we're gonna see a breakout here from this falling wedge to the downside, then I think we could be in here for a retest of around 14 to 15,000 dollar but so far we are in theory breaking out here to the upside and eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars should be the new support in order to bounce from it and go higher but the problem are right now really this overbought condition in the bigger time frames and also the cme gaps that we have below of us but now let's go over into the four hour because this is going to be more important here. As you can see, we have right now a sell signal. It's not a good one because we would have in theory still some room left to the upside. But uh, since right now we are breaking out to the downside from this channel, I think it is very likely that we are coming down to test the 20 moving average at around $18,700 pretty soon. Maybe even go lower towards the 200 moving average which is right at $18,000 where also the CME gap is lining up that we created over the weekend. And I think if we are coming back down here in this falling wedge, it is very likely that we're going to stay within this wedge here for another couple of hours and days before we're going to see the next breakout. This was of course already a good sign that we had an initial breakout here to the upside. So even if we retrace back down here towards 17 to $16,000, it is still very likely that Bitcoin is going to break out here to the upside. But uh, since we have these uh, warning signs in the weekly, which uh, we will come later, um, I think it is quite obvious that Bitcoin is gearing up here for a bigger correction. And what we have seen right now could be just the beginning. Overall, Bitcoin is still looking bullish for the long term. It doesn't matter if you buy now or maybe at 16 or $15,000. It doesn't matter because for the long term, Bitcoin is doing really great. The question is only if you want to buy even more Bitcoin at a cheaper price, then maybe this is the moment where you should wait for a perfect buy entry because I think it is very likely that we will see this potential correction in coming 
pretty soon. And uh, here in the Bollinger Bands, you can also see that currently after topping out here at the top of the Bollinger Band at around $19,400, we are seeing a retracement potentially down here towards the middle line of $18,600. And there we're gonna see if we can bounce from it or if we're gonna fall below. And in that case, my target would be at least to reach $17,600, the bottom here of the Bollinger Band. We also have right now the stochastic shifted to the downside. It is good that we are cooling off here a bit the stochastic. MACD and KSD are looking a bit toppy. We don't have a bearish cross yet, but it looks like that here sooner or later, at least in the, couple, in the next couple of hours, we will see here a potential bearish cross and therefore also continuation to the downside, at least towards $18,660 and now we can go over into the daily because here as you can see currently we are trading above the 20 and 9 day moving average this is of course bullish but let's see if today we can confirm this new support here at around eighteen thousand seven hundred dollar so if today we are closing above these two important moving averages i think we are good to go for a breakout to the upside towards 20k and higher because in that case we have now a new support but if these moving averages will not hold as a support and we're gonna close again a daily candle below these two moving averages then I think this was a fake out that we have seen during the weekend and we will continue to go lower potentially towards the 50 daily moving average at 17,000 and maybe even lower because if you have a look here into the 200 daily moving average you can see it's right at $12,000 right where we had previously a lot of support so this green trend line here and you can see that the 200 daily now is coming above this important trend line although if you have a look here into my own indicator and also in the RSI you can see that we cooled off to the 50 level so in order to have now a big bounce to the upside we have to close daily candles above these moving averages otherwise I think we will potentially go below the 50 level in the RSI and therefore we could expect a major correction towards those levels down here and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, also here you can see that the channel is getting very tiny, so between 17,300 and the $19,990. So also here we will see a real breakout pretty soon in my opinion, when the Bollinger Band is squeezing here in this tiny channel in the daily, very often we see a big move incoming. And here we are still trading on the bullish side, so let's see if today we can close uh, also this daily candle above these important moving averages here. We have stochastic shifted to the upside, which is good. The only problem here is MACD and KSD, which are still shifted to the downside, and that is bearish. And also if you have a look into the CME chart, you can see that on Friday, we closed the daily candle below the 20 daily moving average. And right now with this opening that we had, we are in theory above the 20 daily, but we didn't confirm it yet. So if here in the CME we are closing also above 18,700, we should be good to go to the upside. But if we're gonna close below, then be prepared to see a massive correction incoming. And now we can go over into the weekly time frame because here my friends as you can see we had here a red weekly close and also this week so far is starting in red and as you can see we have now the update of the moving averages here the nine weekly moving average at seventeen thousand dollar and also the 20 weekly moving average right at fourteen thousand dollar so these two price levels are very very important and that's why i think it is very likely that we will come down here at least towards $17,000 to test the nine weekly moving average. Bitcoin during an uptrend always comes down to at least the nine weekly moving average, sometimes even worse towards the 20 weekly and then have a big bounce from it. And since in my own indicator right now we are flashing here red, so we have a sell signal in the weekly, it is very likely that we're gonna see this massive correction incoming this week. Because also in the past, every time that this signal flashed in the weekly, we have seen in the same week a big correction towards the 20 weekly moving average. We have seen it here and also over here. This one was not a good one, but we corrected as well. And even on this one here with the Corona dump in the week that we had here this uh, sell signal, we had this massive dump even way below the 20 weekly moving average. And that's why I think potentially in this week, we're gonna see this massive correction towards at least the $17,000 area, maybe even towards $14,000, where exactly the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. And in that case, we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside, confirm the healthy support down here at this important moving average and also cool off the RSI potentially down to the 50 level to then successfully 
bounce from it. So if we are seeing this correction playing out this week, make sure that you're able to buy as much Bitcoin as possible and never go and panic sell. So you can see that in the weekly time frame, it shows up that we could have this correction this week incoming. If we will not have this correction down to the 20 weekly moving average this week or next week, then I think it's gonna be a long time till we're gonna see such a correction because in that case, I think Bitcoin will just continue to push higher and break out finally from this $20,000 resistance. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for all your likes and subscription to my channel. Also, if you're interested in trading a Bitcoin with a leverage over on Bybit or Femex, Currently, we have this special Jingle Brawl tournament going on on Bybit. If you're interested, you can join the tournament because you can win very nice prizes at the moment, up to 12 Bitcoin. And if you don't want to trade at your own, if you're new in the crypto space, then try out PrimeXPT because here you can copy trade other successful traders. You can just top up some Bitcoin very easily. Just click here on follow and you are copy trading these trader so you don't have to do anything and if this trader is successful you can also multiply your bitcoin very very easily so let's see what this week is gonna bring us because i think it's gonna be a very interesting and volatile week and if we are seeing this correction then make sure that you're able to scale in some nice longs and also buy bitcoin as much as you can because that could be really the last opportunity for you to buy cheap bitcoin below twenty thousand. so have a nice day my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye